So I would like to say welcome. My name is George McRae, and this is an introduction to consultation. One of the important elements of consultation is dialogue. Two-way communication. <coughs> Another element is consultation incorporates both informal and formal approaches. A third is it involves multi-stakeholders, many stakeholders. The next point about consultation is that it builds trust and develops productive and collaborative relationships. So in other words, it's not about me saying, for example, to Oyen Batar, you will do this. It's about me talking and people listening and them talking so that we can understand each other. <coughs> Within the range of responsibilities regarding consultation, and specifically with respect to mining, it involves sharing a broad range of perspectives. What I think, as say a person who worked for the provincial government, provincial BC, British Columbia provincial government, may not be what somebody in the community thinks about the same subject. We need to understand why there are differences and how we can focus on the commonalities. It also involves capturing feedback. It's got to be print and online. It's, it's not enough for us to be in the field and learn things without making sure that decision makers hear the same information. So consultation all <coughs> also involves <coughs> excuse me, building and strengthening accountability and outcomes. I, I think people in, in uh, the mining sector in Mongolia have talked about needing to know about the results that we have achieved. So in this context, it's both time and scope specific. And usually we talk about the mine life cycle. It's also designed to influence decision making, as I have indicated. If it isn't designed to influence decision making, People in the community, people at, at the Sioux level may say, well, why are we here then? They have to know that their participation makes a difference.
So in that way, consultation supports open and transparent and accessible government. That's what I've got. Anybody has any comments or would like to ask any questions? We're good then. Okay. So, the objective of consultation, and we're talking about the mining sector here. But we could be talking about any sector where it's important. So the objective is to seek the views of those affected by the work of MMHI. And that we are talking about is people and groups outside of the internal decision-making process. So by, by ensuring that these groups and people express their views about mining impacts, potential policies, laws and regulations, we can, we can um, help government have better informed decision making. 